today it's just a couple days until Christmas and I just wanted to give you a little bit of a, another introduction. You've seen him before if you've seen my videos, but kind of a hello and goodbye video to our little meat sheep and to show you what the windstorm did last night. It knocked over. <laughs> it knocked over the feeder. <laughs> because I'm a genius and I forgot to take the uh, uh, the umbrella down. So this is our hello goodbye video to our little meat sheep. First things first, let's get this umbrella put back up. Well, that didn't last long. I completely forgot to take the umbrella down last night. Uh, I knew we were having a windstorm and it's completely busted. <laughs> it was a good thought. I tried to give him dry hay. <laughs> so, anyway guys, this little dude, hello, this guy here is our meat sheep and disclaimer is advised everybody because there will be blood there will be guts there will be shortly a a dead sheep so to put that very lightly yes we are going to butcher him but viewer discretion is advised guys uh we are not going to show the actual shot there's going to be about an, a second in the video uh before and after the shot because youtube you know, because this is life on the farm, uh, reality every single day on the farm, most farms, yeah, there, there's going to be, there's going to be death, but he lived a great life. He will not feel anything at all because, uh, we're going to pull food the night before. So he's not, uh, so he doesn't bloat up really quick after we, uh, dispatch him, but we're going to give him a little bit of grain and, uh, he's friendly. I mean, He's super friendly. You can come up and scratch him and scratch him and he wags his little tail. <laughs> so yeah, he's friendly. We can get right up to him and we're just going to put the shot right in the back where it's thin, where the skull's thin, right back in there. Oh, stop it. He headbutts everything. Little rat. So yeah, guys, um, he's lived a great life and uh, yeah, this is what we raised them for is is meat a little bit of wool but we we haven't found anybody local who wants to buy it we found someone on the coast um but mainly meat guys this is what we do on the farm so uh, i would much rather buy buy meat from a farmer who we know what they've been fed we know the kind of life they've lived um but i know there's going to be a lot of people that are against it and you know what scroll on people you do not have to watch my video uh, keep in mind that these guys were treated with the utmost respect. Uh, they don't treat us with the utmost respect. He's actually rammed me several times already. <laughs> he just headbutted me. <laughs> You're gonna make me stink. Don't you dare. Do not. Ow! <laughs> so, uh, lighting is gonna be terrible for... Actually, I'll stand right here. So, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna dispatch him. Uh, the next scene that you probably are gonna see, we'll see in editing when I edit, um, is gonna be us getting ready to dispatch him. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna hang him for a few days, and uh, based on timing, because my husband and I work full time, uh, probably hang him for I don't know three or four days. He's a young ram lamb, so we don't have to hang him long, probably not even at all. But because our scheduling. Uh, we will hang him in the shop for a few days. <sighs> the only reason why he's separated from the rest of the flock, uh, no, there's two reasons. One, he will knock down, drag out, fight the other sheep. Uh, there, I had to break up a fight between two of them. And it wasn't, I headbutt you, you headbutt me. It was, he was out for blood trying to kill the ewes. Mm, okay, great. So brought him back in. He is intact. So he is a ram. He still has all of his equipment, equipment face is frozen. Uh, and the only reason why he's really why he's still intact is because my husband wanted Rocky Mountain oysters. 
Are they Rocky Mountain oysters if they're from sheep? I don't know. We're going to pretend they are. I don't know if they are, but that's really the only reason. But because of that, his hormones are just raging. So he is separate. And next year, we're not going to do that. We're going to make them all weathers. We're going to castrate all of them. And uh, don't you dare. <laughs> I know that look, you little snot. <laughs> and if you guys have seen the previous video uh, with him and his dad, they knock down, seriously drag out fight through the fences. Uh, they've broken several of my fence posts and I just, I, frankly, I can't wait until he is dispatched. Oh, look, got horse cookies in my pocket. Um, hello. Yeah, you look all sweet, uh-huh. Yep, yeah, I know what you're all about. Yeah, he's looking cantankerous. Anyway, guys, so the next video, again, viewer discretion advised. Um, if you don't like to see blood guts or the dispatching of, of an animal, please look away. But please, please keep in mind we're doing it with the utmost respect. And uh, he's fixing to headbutt me. So I'm going to go fill water, do chores, and I, I got to be to work in half an hour. So I better get going. Uh, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. And you just want it right here, right? Yeah. Good. Well, it's going to have to be kind of forward. Right. Not down, forward. <clears throat> oh, he'll be fine. even do it here look we can put it back down right there right there and give him those help yep, like that. Too heavy. <laughs> good shot good shot Should we skin him first before I take his balls off? Yeah. Okay. Well, you can take the guts off first if you want. That's fine. That's fine. It won't. It won't matter either way.
Hey guys, here it is. So obviously we are not butchers. We we're not. <laughs> I do watch a few videos, but we basically do what we want to do with it. So uh, this whole pile here is going to be canned. So I took all the, uh, the really bulky fat off, but all this is going to be canned. And then we got like this guy uh it's the chunk for the back leg and then we've got some of the loin oh god that's gonna be so good um and then we just have you know we just single serving uh for my husband and i so we yeah we seal a meal to all these guys hello otis so uh we don't have a whole lot in the seal a meal packages because we wanted to do more canning also we have this huge pile, and yes, I could have uh, peeled it off the bone a little bit better, but we have a dog <clears throat> who has allergies really, really bad. So he's gonna get homemade dog food. And so all this, this is just scrap. And yeah, it looks like there's a lot of meat still on here, but really if you sat there and <laughs> took the time to take all these little thin, tiny pieces of meat off the fat, you'd be here forever. So this is the garbage pile. This is the dog food pile. And uh, yep, I had to take a time out to eat some of our farm raised uh, chicken that was on the smoker for a few hours. Yum. So yep, there it is, folks. There is our, turn you around. I probably look like crap. I've been out here uh, the last few hours. The husband uh, went inside and he never came back so I finished the rest of this uh and it's just starting to snow a little bit and so yeah there is our only one single lamb for the year so hopefully we're gonna have better numbers this coming year uh just a few more months and we're gonna have babies I can't wait I'm so excited uh so anyway folks like and subscribe I'd love it if you did that and uh this is the day in the life of a farmsteader really so when we get a home when we get a house built up here i will call it maybe the homestead so we'll see have a great day folks welcome to 2021 have a fantastic year do the best that you can be nice to everybody and we'll uh catch you well you'll catch me uh soon i don't know what i'm doing next but we'll see have a great day everybody love you like subscribe and uh We'll see what tomorrow brings.